Uh, and so in the sign of Aquarius, you're going to want to say big things, share big ideas, especially if you learn something under the Gemini new moon and Saturn's going to put a little bit of the reins on there and say, whoa, Nelly, we know that you were born magical. We know that you are intuitive and we know that you are brimming with everyday enchantment. Here at the Sisters Enchanted, we believe in intention, we believe in intuition, and we believe in everyday magic. Welcome in to the Expedition to Soul podcast. Think about what life would look like if you had the foundation to do the shadow work, understand where you're holding yourself back, and the confidence to bring some everyday magic elements into your life, follow your intuition, and know exactly the steps forward for you. Well, that's what we teach you and more in our Holistic Witchery program. Be sure to get on the wait list for Holistic Witchery. It's the one class we think everybody should take here at the Sisters Enchanted. It has changed so many lives and is at the core of all of our fundamental beliefs about who we are and how we propel ourselves forward in a way Way that makes great change for ourselves and those around us. Check out holisticwitchery.com, get on the wait list, and we can't wait to welcome you into class just as soon as enrollment opens. Hey, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast. This is another one of your astro forecasts for the week, and we're throwing a little bit of a curveball your way. I'm Anna, co-founder here at the Sisters Enchanted, and I'm here with our founder and my real life sister, Sarah. Hello. Founder of the Sisters Enchanted. Hello, Sarah. Hello. I am substituting for Anna today, and Anna's substituting for Sarah Mill. So, so <laughs> twisty. Yeah. Sarah's just <laughs> a little under the weather. The other yeah. Sarah of the Sarah squared. Yes. So we're being yeah. a little twisty. Yes. But since Anna's the astrologer here, Goodness and I am me. not. It made more sense for Anna to step in for Sarah and for me to step in for Anna. Hmm. So we're so. like double substitutes because double. Anna is Sarah. I am Anna. It's so weird because there's two Sarahs. I know. It's kind of when a mind jump. Hit me up via text this morning. It took me back to when I was in grad school for teaching and I actually was a substitute teacher and getting the call like right as you're like about to be like, oh, guess I'm not getting the call today. So you pour the coffee and you're going to sit down and suddenly there's a substitute teaching emergency and you're needed in the building in 10 minutes. And yet you've not even brushed your teeth, <laughs> except I had more notice than that. But <laughs> it did make me think for a minute. It's been some years since somebody was like, you're needed. Now. You are needed. Now. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, Sarah. You are needed. I'm coming now. from a campground, an RV park. I'm trying to block the RV behind me with my head. I'm sure I, it's I not like a big deal. The view was better than my curtain drawn. So anyway, astrocast time. Enough of me. I was going to say, well, at least you are like still dressed like it's almost getting warm. And here, I mean, it looks rainy there too. But here it's like it's super rainy, rainy and it's going to be only 60 degrees. I know it's going to be the chilliest day here on our, this excursion that we're on. It was beautiful yesterday and the day before, and today is rain, rain, rain. And then um, I think it's supposed to stop, but I think it's going to stop where you are before it stops where I am. Mm. So it's going to be rainy here most of the day. And then of course, everything's just wet after that. If the sun doesn't come out. So it's challenging to really, I mean, it's not challenging. You just go outside and get wet, but you know, you want to sit down outside or something. Right. It's going to be great. Yeah, it is. It's, fine. <laughs> it's always like one rainy day on a camping trip. At least we've not had any total washouts. That's not true. Last summer we had to leave a trip early because of a hurricane. But the hurricane was headed toward our house, not the campground. And our basement floods. And it's like a lot of responsibility for somebody that we're just having help us with the house. Like you or my, our mom. So we left our camping trip early but not because the hurricane was coming towards us because it was coming to our house <laughs> and we wanted to be there to be able to pump the basement should it take in water. Oh goodness. Anyway, it has nothing to do with anything. This is what happens when we podcast. It has nothing to do with the topic at hand. Take it over. Stellar content. Take All right. Over. 
folksies, folksy folks. Uh, so this, like I said, I don't know if I said, I think I did say this is your astro forecast. So this is for your week of May 30th. Um, today we're kind of reining in a new moon in Gemini. Um, so it's a really good time to get curious, think about new things, um, go to the library and pick out a book on something you know nothing about or pick a book about like an author that you never even like have heard of and just get curious and get into something new. Uh, on top of that, at the end of this week, Saturn is gonna pull a good old retrograde in the sign of Aquarius which can make you feel a little bit under scrutiny uh, when it comes to um, how you feel that society kind of sees you and your ideas that you share with society. Um, and it could be a challenge to face up to some of your responsibilities. Uh, so I would really super dive into some curiosity and maybe stay away from society. That's probably not good advice because who can really stay away from society? Uh, but you know, that's just me. Uh, because Saturn is our responsibilities. Uh, it puts a little bit of a tight, a tight leash on, um, on how we kind of get out into the world. It kind of says stop even when you want to go. Uh, and so in the sign of Aquarius, you're going to want to say big things, share big ideas, especially if you learn something under the Gemini new moon. And Saturn's going to put a little bit of the reins on there and say, whoa, Nelly, slow down. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't say those things out loud until you're ready for somebody to maybe come back at that, you. That's what Saturn says. Saturn whoa, says Nelly. Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Is that my Saturn's in Sagittarius? I feel like it always you would says probably that. say, whoa, Nelly. Yeah. yeah. And I quote Saturn, whoa, Nelly. <laughs> so, so yeah, so Saturn in retrograde. Uh, it'll challenge you to, uh, to face responsibilities, especially around your ideas around society um, and the other people you share your world with. Um, so some three tips coming at you this week with our new moon in Gemini in the beginning of the week and Saturn doing a retrograde in Aquarius towards the end of the week. One, plan a trip somewhere local and or learn something new, like I said. Uh, number two, be prepared to evaluate your ideas. Be open to change if things don't sit right. So be ready to be ready to change your mind or change your thought process if needed. And number three, be especially open to changes of mind about your responsibilities in the world and how you can make changes that could benefit others. Those are some three tips. Well, for this as day. we're talking, I pulled the cards. Oh, good. Did you pull? Did you pull? I usually pull two. I pulled two. Yeah. <laughs> and I do, in fact, oh, there's a human back there. I do, in fact, know how <laughs> the Astrocast works. <laughs> so just be like this. Blinders. I you know. I should just pull the card of it. Blind. But anyway. Um, all right. So when you were on your Whoa, Whoa Nelly speech, I pulled Whoa, the Nelly. Knight of Pentacles. Whoa Nelly. <laughs> Just like the whoa Nelly of <laughs> the night of, of the tarot cards. Yeah. So you might as you well know. have a quote bubble that says whoa Nelly. Right. Oh my gosh. And then the seven of swords, I think, which um, with Gemini and Aquarius, you know, in those, the energy you talked about out there, I can't, where's the camera? Um, I do think some whoa Nelly to your thoughts. You know, some woe Nelly to what's going on in your mind and how you're about to act on that in the world around you. That's very profound. So pretty much, I think in recap, I think it's pretty safe to say that if any point this week you feel like your thoughts are getting away from you or you're not, you feel like your thoughts are under scrutiny from those around you and you're feeling the reins of Saturn and your responsibility tightening in around you and your communications, just stop. Think, take a deep breath and say, whoa, Collaborate Nelly. and listen. Collaborate and listen. Say, whoa, Nelly and get back. Collaborate. <laughs> get back to action. Um, Indeed. Oh, no, it's my I internet can't, going wonky. I think you froze a little bit, but I think that what yeah. we got from you about this was very potent information. Yes. Right to the heart yes. of the matter with my seven right swords. That's yes. how I do it. 
<laughs> how we do. <laughs> this is how we do here. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that that's really good. Whoa, Nelly, on those thoughts and how you're taking them out on yourself or on others. And yeah, well, yeah that's the second of swords. You know, like, what are you, what are you taking? What are you hiding? What are you sneaking with? And what's at the root of the thoughts you're having that you're about to take action on that you could probably whoa, Nelly, a little bit. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. So it's another t shirt. It's a picture of Saturn saying, whoa, Nelly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Bestseller. All right, everyone. I think that that's pretty much it for this week of your look ahead for the astro forecast. Remember, keep an eye out for that Gemini new moon, which I think is happening like right now. And uh, that backspin of Saturn in Aquarius, which can make us feel a little bit tight on the reins. Whoa, Nelly. And Sarah, thank you so much for being here with, with us for this episode of the Expedition of Soul podcast. It was a pleasure to wear my Anna disguise and pull the cards. Very good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for being here with us. And we will see you next week. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you liked this episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast, please rate, review, subscribe. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, it will really help us spread everyday magic, intention, and intuition to the masses and helps us so much as a small business. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your favorite podcasting platform so you never miss an episode. There are new episodes every Tuesday and astro forecasts for the week ahead every Friday. If there's any topics you'd want to hear, anything you want us to dive deeper into, shoot us an email at magic at the sisters And as always, thank you so much for listening and being part of the community here at the sisters enchanted, and we'll see you in the next episode.